And as you can see, using these special settings for Cheat Engine, we have jacked unlimited money in this emulator game. Hello everybody, it's me, Game Jacker, and today I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine for PC to hack games on your favorite Android emulators. Now, of course you guys know Cheat Engine, it's the number one game cheating app or memory editor for PC. And of course, as always, the download links for everything are going to be down in the description below while you're there. Please leave a like for the video, comment for the algorithm, and subscribe for more game jacking content. So, how do you use Cheat Engine? on Android emulators, is it possible? Yes, it's absolutely possible. However, it is a little bit hit and a miss. So here's what you're going to do. You're gonna wanna get Cheat Engine and you're gonna wanna connect to the process. This is where you usually select your game process to physical memory. However, this is not gonna work right out of the box. So I'm gonna show you how to make that work. This is gonna scan your whole RAM of your whole PC. It's gonna take a little bit more time than normal scans for a certain process. So what you're gonna wanna do to make this possible, because by default it's not possible anymore, it was once, you're gonna go to settings, you're going to go to extras, it's the last menu item, and you're going to enable all of these points. Query, read, write, process memory, and process watcher, you're gonna enable them, okay? You're gonna check them. And that's gonna enable you to connect Cheat Engine to your physical memory to scan the whole memory. Now, this is gonna depend on your operating system, your emulator that you're using, how well this is going to work. For some games, it's gonna work, be working very well on some emulators, and for some, it's not gonna work at all. You're just going to have to try. So in this case, in my case, I'm using Nox emulator. It works, but you only get one scan. Once you change the value, it changes location in your memory. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, for the money value right here. It's 140,000, it's actually 1.4 million, so it's 1,400,000 thousand and we're going to make a first scan usually you're going to set this to all all right i'm gonna set it to four byte because i know it's a four byte value it usually is but to make sure you find your value set the value type to all to cut down on time i'm gonna set it to four byte so i'll see you guys after the scan La, la, la. So am I still waiting for Cheat Engine to stop scanning? And finally, the scan has finished. Now, usually, if you are using a number that's a little bit smaller than this, you're going to get more than one result. You're going to want to try and change the value in-game and then um, do a next scan for that new value to narrow down the list. However, in my case, I need to have a number in game that is unique so that I can change it on the first try because that's just the specific game and emulator setup that I have and it depends on your emulator, on your game, on everything, you, even your operating system of your computer. Um, I'm using Windows 10, but yeah, it's easier generally on older Windows versions. So, of course, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this number to get it down into the list, or you can select it and put it down into the list like this, or delete it to get rid of it again. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go to right click and change record value. And we're gonna set this to 999999999. Enter, and the changes have taken effect. As you can see, unlimited money using Cheat Engine to jack your Android emulator on PC. It's still possible in 2023. However, I remember a time five years ago where it literally worked on every emulator with a lot of games. Now it's a lot more finicky. You're gonna have to try a lot harder. If you're looking for an alternative method to achieve this kind of thing, um, you can of course go to the links in the description down below and check out the best game cheating apps for Android. Game Guardian is a lot more reliable than using Cheat Engine on an, on an emulator. It's gonna work uh, most of the time for online games, especially HackerBot and HackerBot APK. Simply Google HackerBot and go and download legitimate cheats for online games on the HackFinder by going to download cheats on HackerBot. Dot net to download all of these apps, including APK Editor for editing APKs, Hack App Data for uh, modifying uh, temporary game data while the game is running, um, bot software and everything, go to cheatware.net. You'll also find 
a download for HackerBot APK, um, Game Guardian, Lucky Patcher, and all the popular apps there, including, of course, Cheat Engine for PC. There's also a version where you don't actually have to run an installer to install it on your to run it on your PC, which is useful because the installer can be picked up as unwanted software as it does change your default search engine so i do recommend going to cheatware for that as well again just google cheatware go to cheatware.net and get your downloads that way anyways guys that is it from me that's how to jack your favorite android games using the cheat engine for pc it works still in 2023 i hope this helps leave a like down below comment for the algorithm subscribe for more game jacking content and i'll see you guys next time game jacker out